Hello and welcome to our lesson on using a place value table to convert numbers in words to digits. We begin with 3.45. To write this number in digits we need to understand the point refers to the decimal point which is between the unit and the tenths column. So we have 3 which is 3 units, point 4 and the 4 tenths and 5 which is in the hundredths column. So in digits this is 3.45. For the next one we have 0 0.26. Again you can see the point tells us we are working here. We have 0 units, 2 tenths, and six hundredths. So zero point two six. And for question C, we have one hundred. So this is one in the hundredths column. We have no tens and no units. And then we have point, which is the decimal point here, and then the one which is one tenth. So in digits this is one hundred Point one. Okay, let's try some more questions. Do you want to use the place value table to try and convert the numbers in D, E and F to digits? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, we have 2 and 9 tenths. Here is the tenth column and we have 9 of them. And we have 2, which is 2 units and nine tenths. You can see the decimal point between the units and the tenths. So we have 2.9. For question E, 7,000, so a seven in the thousands column, eight in the hundredths column, zero in the tens column, and seven in the units, the point refers to the decimal point, zero in the tenths, and six in the hundredths. So we have 7,807.06. And finally, for question F, we have 88,000. We can begin with the 8,000, and we have 88,000. So now 8 in the tens of thousands as well. We have no hundreds, no tens and no units. Here is the decimal point. There is no tenths, but we do have two hundredths, which are here. So we have 88,000.06. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. Thanks again and take care.